And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Do you like your envelopes followed by special devices? <laughs> My name's <is> Creepy. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome. I'm Alex. Better check out this uh, pedal today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up, ding that bell, and leave a comment down below. Please do, please do. And yes. just want to mention right from the start, this was uh, uh, provided by Earthquake Australia. Earthquake Devices Australia. So this is what you would call a sponsored video. Uh, yes, so uh, Alex, the spatial delivery. Yo. Uh, number two, I believe number two, or could be three, but the current version, the latest incarnation of the spatial delivery. Uh, it's an envelope filter, mm -hmm. uh, sample and hold kind of step filter kind of thing. Uh, all new now with some presets. That should be handy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll look into all that. Uh, Timestamps for everything below if you want to skip ahead. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so you know what you're hearing at the setup today is our guitars going through the pedal and setup and tuner stuff. A Mostronics amp switcher going to an OTS Mini 20 from Cherry Tone and a two notes torpedo Captor X for IRs and reverbs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. you're hearing. Yes, exact, logic. exact the motor. And do tell us about your guitar that you're using there, Alex. Yeah, this is called a Gibson Les Paul write down. You don't see these very often. <laughs> it's a, is it new? Yeah, <laughs> it's a new concept. Um, yeah, this is my birthday present to myself from myself. So, happy birthday. To myself from myself. Yep. Allow myself to introduce yes. myself. Myself. <laughs> um, if you want to find out more about it, we did a podcast, yeah. which will be out at some stage about Alex's trip. Um, what he bought this. Bird's Eye Top, which is can't really see in the show. Poor birds. There's lots of blind birds flying around now, but it looks cool. Um, so, yeah, so that's how we're going to start off anyway. So, just to look at the controls, we've got a range control, which. When you're using the, the envelope filter side, it's basically the sensitivity of how... Because how, if people don't know what an envelope filter is, it's basically like, if you think of a wah-wah pedal, but depending on how hard you hit the strings, uh, the wah kind of rocks. Mm. So that's what the sensitivity is. So um, the more sensitivity means if you hit it softer, it still opens, it already opens up. If you go the opposite way, you've got to hit it harder for it to do the thing. Then you've got the resonance, which is basically how resonant the filter is. Um, you've got the switch in the middle, which goes up, sample and hold, and down. So whether you want the filter, the, the frequencies to go up, or the filter frequencies to go up, down, or sample and hold is basically like a step thing, sort of random hits. It's probably easier to listen to it. Yeah, yeah when we listen to it. Um, then we also have this. Now, this is the filter. So instead of having a high-pass filter, low-pass filter, band-pass filter switch, which is what you often get with this stuff. This is actually sort of a variable control, so you can go between high-pass, band-pass, and low-pass. Cool. Uh, and then, new for this, you have six preset slots, which you can engage via... You've got this little light here, which is green. In green, it means it's in live mode, which means it's whatever that is set to. If you click on it, it's red. That goes to the preset mode, and you have the six different presets. You also... Uh, once the pedal is on, if you hold the switch in, it you can switch between, and the sample and hold, you can just hear it. <laughs> That's the same. Uh, so if you hold it in, you can switch between whatever it's set to and our preset. So you have two different settings. Uh, if the pedal is off, and you hold it in for over a like a second or more, it's a momentary switch. So you can just get bursts of spatial... Delivered things. Delivered things. D yes. Cool. Um, so should we just hear some sounds? So this is what it's set to now. We're on the up setting. We're sort of in between band pass and low pass um, with the uh, range there and uh, yeah. Yeah, resonance click, click there. Clean to clean tone. Wow. 
So that was up. Let's do the same thing. Yep. Let's go back to sort of roughly where it was before. That sounded pretty cool. Uh, from up to down. So now instead of it going, you'll hear it. Instead of it going up, it goes down. So up is probably the more commonly used envelope filter sound. Down is sort of a bit funny sounding sometimes. Funny. Or well, it can sound a bit funny. Oh. It's sort of this riv- almost backward sound. Yeah. Anyway, you'll hear it. So this is up. <laughs> It's like meow, meow, yeah. meow. it goes back almost like yeah down. Cool, I reckon. That wow. sounds good with that. Yeah. Now let's check out the, the filter control. So let's go from a low pass filter and just gradually move towards a band pass. So low pass filter basically, it, it, it's all in the name really. So low pass filter means it lets the low frequencies pass and cuts off the high frequencies. Band pass is a general sort of a, um, it, 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 it sits in a certain frequency and the frequency moves up and down. And then you've got high pass, which is the opposite to low pass. So it lets all the high frequencies through and gets rid of the lower frequencies and the envelope kind of moves the position of where those lower frequencies are or higher frequencies are or where the band pass sits, if that makes sense. Right. So let's with those settings, let's go through that. All right. <laughs> So I think sort of somewhere between low pass and band pass sounds pretty cool. Although band pass sounded really good too, actually. I actually liked it down the left and the um, Oh, you did? Uh, high pass, yeah. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay, well now, I mean, that's that basically, right? So now let's have a look at the sample and hold. So it's same settings. I'll go from that to sample and hold. Okay. Wow. Now, should me- I mean, that's sample and hold. Uh, I should mention the range control now becomes a speed. Ah, uh, sure. So how does the resonance affect this sample hole setting? Let's have a listen. So let's go resonance all the way up. To the very top. I think there. it's how far up the frequencies go. Like it, it cuts it. So, and so again, probably depending on where this sits off, sits as well, it cuts off the high, the high or low frequencies. Mm-hmm. So if we go to um, high pass, it should sure. do the opposite. So with low pass, you've got a lot more weight there. Yeah. So there's there's a lot more bottom end there. Whereas if you go to a high pass, it's thinner. But I guess depends on it depends on your the music you're playing and what you know where it sits. Now, uh, so that's I mean that's that in a nutshell. It's an envelope filter, right? Yeah. Uh, let's look at some of the presets. So this is presets that came. So you've got this six way preset switch here. Let's just go through the presets. So uh, should also mention there's an expression pedal in. And I believe from what I gather is it, I haven't actually tried it yet and we, we're not doing it, but basically set it in a toe position, move the controls where you want them to be, 
put in a heel position, move the controls to where you want them to be, and you can go between two things. And it remembers it in the presets too. So your presets, oh, cool. it remembers what the expression pedal was set to. Do that expression. Um, so this is, this is preset one. Preset four. Interesting. A different key, C major. It's cool, yeah. Yeah. And, and so yeah, calculate. It's, it's somewhere between calculating and water drops. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. that's a reverse thing. Yeah. Let's say, oh, sorry, I did, that's not what I meant to do, but let's say now you like that preset yeah. um, and then you want to set the the live mode to a that sort of really fast sample and hold sounding thing. What I'm getting at is, is you can you can switch between one preset and the yeah. live mode. Now to save a preset, all it is is you go um, to the preset, you change this to wherever you, whatever you want it to be, you hold it in again, and that saves it at whatever slot you want it to be at. So then you can change the slot and stuff to where you want it to be. Yeah, cool. Very nice. But I mean, that's basically it. Um, that's a special delivery. It's um, it's a ripe for some ambient stuff with re reverbs and delays and whatnot. Yeah, well, let me, actually, let me, can I just have a quick go? Let me, let me have a quick go. Stick the delay on. With some delay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. With some delay and with that um, that number six setting. Six was uh, cool. So this is the um, uh, uh, Yamaha Pacifica Standard Plus M because of the maple board. Uh, and clean, um, before the spatial stuff has been delivered, it sounds like this. You want a middle pickup. But let's go. Uh, I want it to be more repeats. That's the normal, the normal stuff too. Which where was it? it was here somewhere? The dog is chasing its own tail and growling. 
But I mean, it's an envelope filter. It does the envelope filter stuff. Yeah. But it's pretty cool having the six presets. Um, step thing's pretty cool. The step thing sounds really cool, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's Earthquaker devices. It's always a bit quirky, interesting, kind of cool-sounding yeah. stuff. Well-built uh, in fun, sparkle orange. Orange. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're Dutch. That's your, it's your color. Oh, it's my people. It's your people. What do you guys <laughs> think? Lots of your little sparkly people there. <laughs> sure. What do you think about his racism? Leave it in the comment below. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, a, there's only two things I hate in this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks for hanging. There's um leave a comment down below. There's also Please links do. to our socials and podcast. We yeah. just did one this morning. Yeah, yeah, check yeah, it out. Exactly. A, mm. a rare podcast, so go and check it out. Yeah. Uh, big thank you once again to the awesome people of Earthquaker Devices Australia or Yamaha Australia, basically same people. Yeah. Uh, for sending this out to us. Uh yeah, let us know if there's anything else you want us to do with this or any other Earthquaker Devices pedals because we should be able to get our hands on most of them yeah. now. So we've kind of we have a few. We've had some. We've done something in the past too. Um, I'll put up a playlist. I, I like them because they're a bit left to center, but yeah. still very musical. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still not too weird for the sake of being weird. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll That's put up stuff. a playlist at the end, which I believe yeah. is coming up now. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks uh, for hanging. Check out the playlist. See you soon. Check it.